hello everyone welcome back i've been posting a little irregularly but i wanted to make a quick video today while i have time to talk about my writing progress my name is melanie tana typically i talk about different kinds of stories and what i learn from them um whether it's a movie video game book good or bad you can learn something from them but uh, i'm also a writer and that's why i'm learning from them to improve my writing and to sort of observe what works and doesn't work in different stories. By the title you can probably tell that I'm talking about Camp NaNoWriMo. If you're wondering what that is, NaNoWriMo is a non-profit, um, like a campaign to get people to write basically. NaNoWriMo stands for National Novel Writing Month, which is November, and in November a lot of people will write, I think it's I think it's uh, 60,000 words is the the winning number. I'm not entirely sure because I've done it before, but like in school and stuff. And um, typically I've only done Camp NaNoWriMo, which is like a more minor thing um, that happens in April and July. And in July, um, two years ago, I was working on this story. And then this summer I just finished editing another story and decided to work on this one again. It's very applicable to my life right now. Um, has a lot of themes that um, I thought I could really explore. And then, yeah. So I said my word goal wasn't the 50,000 that it suggests. I set the 40,000 goal because that's about what I wrote two years ago. And it just felt a little bit more manageable to me. Um, some weeks I'm working almost full time and it's just, it's hard to balance that out. That being said, uh, I have a lot of hobbies and and I find it's hard to manage my time and to motivate myself to write, um, especially when I had to write about 1,200 words a day. Uh, that's a lot. And um, sometimes it required me to force myself through scenes. And at this point, I'm just kind of tired. You know, I have a lot going on emotionally and just time-wise, like as a person, I'm kind of busy. So right now in my life, I want to keep writing. I want to write every day if I can in some form but I'm kind of softening my goals. So in the future, I would like to write maybe 5,000 words a week, which is pretty decent for me. And um, if I can do more, I will do more. Sometimes it's nice when I have a free minute uh, or a free couple hours to just sit and write and see where it takes me. But that way, if I at least reach my goal, I don't know, I'll feel good, but, but I'm kind of just testing out different motivations for myself because I don't want to exhaust myself out of writing. I want to keep the momentum of enjoying it going and that's kind of hard when I'm so busy. So if I write every day, I'm just happy with that at this point. Um, but when I was doing Camp NaNoWriMo for July, I was, uh, I had to keep myself focused. Um, there are a few ways that I did that, um, that I just want to talk about because I think it's helpful and, um, yeah. So I'm a very tangenty person. I get distracted very easily. And in writing, that can mean like, oh, I have to remember this scene, but I'm either not going to remember it later or I'm going to get distracted writing a whole other scene, which I don't really want to do because I want to stay in the moment of my story. So something I do is I have this little box full of sticky notes. It's beautiful. I'm adding to the collection because I'm a nerd. But yeah, so I have that little box of sticky notes and I have this little box next to it. And for each project I'm working on, I will have a color of the day sticky note ready for myself. And um, whenever a tangent idea comes along, I write it down on that note and I put it in the box. And then when I'm going through like a like different edits, I will always have a stack of sticky notes that I can be like remind like reminding myself to go back and rewrite this or remembering like a theme that I want to incorporate or something that's not necessarily in the now that I can address later. It's actually been really helpful for me. I was writing a different story in like the spring going into summer. I was like rewriting it fully and then going through it and going through all my sticky notes and kind of not editing it like full on, but like making it cohesive, trying to make stuff make sense. So if I remember that I have um, this plot hole that's like come up since I've continued writing, it's really helpful for me to um, just go write it down on a sticky note. And then when I'm going through it, I'm like, oh yeah, I have to fix that scene. So sometimes things on a sticky note will be like, change this person's name. Or go through and um, 
capitalize this magical thing or something like that. And other times it will be like an all, all writing session incorporated thing where I really have to sit down and rewrite a whole scene because it just doesn't quite work. But that helps me fix the structural issues of my story. I think it'll help as I find beta readers and as I um, even line edit, I can take notes of like typical mistakes I make, things to look out for, um, questions to ask people I'm working with so that I can just keep track of everything. And obviously it's like, oh, what a, it's not an, an ingenious idea. It's sticky notes, but I find it's very helpful for my easily distracted brain. And it's like kind of part of the reward. Like I get to have cute colored sticky notes and then I have the stack I get to look through. So that way, when I go to edit, when I go to review something I've written, I have an idea of where to start. And often reading through the sticky notes leads to me writing more sticky notes, but it does end. Um, yeah, recently when I tried it, it was quite effective and um, and really helped me uh, feel like things were coming together and revisit old scenes. And you could kind of jump around a little bit, but I had some direction, which helps because I need a little bit of structure um, and then a little bit of freedom to like write down these ideas and address them individually later. So yeah, I think that helped me a lot. That's kind of the biggest thing. I definitely listen to music when I write. Um, I have to be careful though. I do have a playlist for the current story I wrote for July that really captures the vibes of the story, but um, it's also sometimes distracting because the songs might have lyrics or might be like too, um, like you can get into it too much. Like I've said in other videos, if I am really into music, I will like straight up conduct it because I love film scores and I love even just video game music can be too awesome sometimes, but I will say most video game music or like a really chill but thematic album from like a TV show or a movie can um, handle that pretty well. You just have to find the right one. So I would list like even like a playlist that's like steady, chill, lo-fi, that kind of thing that can um, just get you focused. Um, it might not always capture the vibe of your story, but sometimes you just need some sound playing. And honestly, silence can be helpful for me because I can just like get that momentum going and nothing's stopping me, nothing's distracting me. Um, I don't think I even notice how many times I'm like, oh, I have to skip this song because it's not quite right. But you're not doing that if you're not listening to music. So that's something to consider. That's something I had to consider, especially when writing last month because um, yeah, it's kind of uh, tricky to stay focused when there's really good music playing. <laughs> now the question is, did I reach my writing goal? And no, I did not. I did not get 40,000 words. I got like 25,000, I think, which is still awesome in one month. Like that's actually really, really good. Um, and that's kind of why I do this. It's just so I have big chunks of writing um, to get me started. And now I'm just gonna take it a little easy because um, if you write consistently, you're gonna get a lot more out there than if you force yourself to, or try to force yourself to write like 4,000 words a day or whatever. It's just not gonna work out um, long term. So I would find something that's more functional for you and motivating. And sometimes you're gonna have bigger days and smaller days. You maybe consider that like on your day off, you might be like, I'm gonna write more words today. Be fully accepting that you're not going to have the time to write um, a bunch of words on a big full day. When you're working eight hours or more and then you go home and you need to nap and that's my life and it uh it, you gotta keep that into perspective and and for someone like me i have a lot of interests i want to play music and i really like want and need to read every day it's just like really good for me so you gotta kind of balance that out but you can figure it out and it's really fun and i don't know it's just it's it was rewarding nonetheless and i have a lot of progress on this story and I also think I'm remembering how much I struggle with the first draft. Like I have been editing this story that I've been writing for years and um, it's part of a trilogy. So it's like very, there's a lot going on and I like the writing better. And it's just an easier story for me to write. The one I'm working on this last month, it, it was emotionally a struggle and like very, I just had to do a lot of research for it and a lot of um, remembering themes with characters. So yeah, um, so it's just going to depend on the story as well for me, um, how easy it is to just jump in and write it. 
But yeah, so I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at. I didn't hit my goal, but I wrote a lot of words. <clears throat> Which is the goal for me. If I set a high goal, it's more like, well, this isn't going to be consistent because of this, probably. I don't know. You kind of have to trick your brain to do stuff, to be honest. In the future, for some writing practice, while I'm working on this story sort of uh, slower, I'm going to make some short story writing goals. I think that would be good practice for me to write something more succinct. And yeah, I think it's just uh, from what I've heard, it's a good recommendation. And I've written some, but not a ton of short stories. So I'm going to try to get into that. And that's where I'm at right now. I'll probably be talking about the Gibbard Quartet, which I read recently. Um, I like to talk about some favorites from my childhood, and that was definitely one of them. And then I will be going to see where the crawdads sing and talking about that adaptation and how it went and everything. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Just a quick video about my writing goals and how I motivate myself and yeah. And I'm tired, so I'm gonna write a little bit less and enjoy my days a little bit more. And yeah, I think that's totally okay. Thank you guys for sticking around. Hope that you could enjoy this and hopefully get some validation that writing is hard. And that's okay not to reach your goals. The important thing is to be consistent, I think. I don't know, that's just me. And I will see you later with more videos.